All right, we'll just get started. I think David will get here in a few minutes. Uh, let's just get started and hopefully uh, you can see the screen I'm sharing. Uh, here, the, let me paste it on the chat window too so it can all help me with the note taking here. Hi everyone. Hey, Vitaly, how are you? Great. How are you? Good, good. Okay, so uh, we'll just go ahead and get, get started. Uh, so we have a relatively short agenda for the last call of the year. Uh, it's amazing how quickly time sort of flew for 2019. Uh, so three topics. Uh, I mean, first is regarding the membership changes in the core team. Uh, you, uh, I don't think Benny's here on the call as of yet, but he uh, announced his departure uh, from GitLab a couple of weeks ago on the Slack channel. Hey, David, how are you? Good, thanks. Uh, so we'll talk about that really quickly. And then a quick follow-up on, uh, we had some good discussion on the Community Advisory Council. Uh, I think there are some updates that were made on the MR. Uh, David will give us a quick recap of uh, what's happened since the call and what the, what the next steps are. And I'll uh, also talk about some of the community events um, uh, in Q1 2020 uh, leading up to contribute. Uh, so those are uh, the main topics. Uh, if there's anything else, please let me know. If you could uh, add, a, add uh, a topic towards the end. Um, but uh, so we can do that toward it, uh, at the end. Uh, so let me quickly jump to the next slide. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, Vinny, uh, he's been on the core team uh, since 2016, and I believe he joined uh, GitLab as a team member in 2017. He's been here uh, for a long time and uh, he's pursuing a different opportunity in a few weeks. And um, I had a quick discussion with them last week if, uh, if he would have an opportunity to contri continue contributing to GitLab. And unfortunately, at least initially, that's not gonna be the case. Um, so he, I mean, will not be able to, uh, at least for the force, first few months, he's not going to be able to uh, contribute to GitLab, so he uh, will be standing down from the core team. Um, so he, I believe, yeah, I don't think he's on yet, but I just wanted to, uh, I'm sure everybody has the same sentiments uh, based on what we I've seen on Slack messages. He's uh, been an awesome contributor and, and a core team member. Uh, definitely, uh, he'll definitely be missed, uh, but hopefully he'll start re-engaging uh, Re-engaging re with the community in, in several months, and we'll hope to see him again soon. Um, so what that means is that, uh, I mean, so uh, what we started to do uh, 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 almost two years ago now is to have, or uh, about a year ago, is to have up to two GitLab team members in the core team. Uh, so we'll have one space sort of, uh, you know, that will be vacated. Uh, so we're, we'll look into adding a new uh, team member to the core team in the future. I mean, there's not necessarily any urgency in doing this, but this is uh, some something we'll uh, look into doing in the next, next couple of months. Um, so if you have any suggestions or ideas uh, from the GitLab team members, I mean, feel free to let me know. Um, I mean, one of the things that I'd like to consider uh, is to I mean, add somebody from like an underrepresented groups uh, in, into the core team. I mean, one of the comments that I've heard in the past is that all the core team members, uh, I mean, happen to be male. I mean, that wasn't designed that way, but it's that's how it turned out. So that's, uh, I mean, in terms of gender and other areas that we, we want to have a well-represented, sort of well-rounded uh, core team. So that's something that uh, I definitely want to consider. Uh, if you have any like a suggestions on people or, or thoughts on this, I mean, feel free to, uh, um, I mean, bring them up, up in a Slack channel or, or reach out to me. Um, but that's something that we'll look, in, look to do in, in the next uh, couple of months. But let me just pause there and see if, uh, people have any comments or, or feedback um, that you want to discuss during the call?
you know, it's unfortunate neither Vinny or, or Remy were able to make the call today, but uh, yeah, I think, yeah, David, you and I talked about this quickly like last week, but I'm um, not sure if you have anything else to add here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd say if everyone has seen any contributor um, doing good work, um, that might be a good candidate to be good to, um, yeah, to send a suggestion. Uh, I think uh, we're still using the um, we're still using service desk, so, so that might be a good uh, way. Um, another thing might be as well to announce it on uh, somewhere like the company call within uh, within GitLab as well. Right. Um, and uh, and yeah, and, and explain what. Uh, yeah, this proposal essentially to make sure that uh, that um, the new candidate, um, one of the one of the um, so one of the the deciding factor as well uh, other than contributions would be to make sure that we create a, a more inclusive um, and diverse community as well. Right. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. I mean, there are certainly a lot of people uh, within the GitLab team. Um, I mean, people. Uh, both that have been around for a while and even somewhat recent that have been really good about like working with community members. So uh, I think we do have, um, we should have a lot of, uh, a lot of good candidates, but uh, yeah, I mean, could probably open this, this up even within the company on the Slack channel might be a, might be a good idea. So cool. Okay. Any hey, other want... thoughts? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Maybe on, uh, right, sorry. Maybe one place to look for is uh, merge request coaches, and uh, if they have any suggestions. Yep. Right. Since they collaborate more often with the community. Right. Yep. Okay. Uh, any other suggestions or thoughts? All right, we'll just move on to the next topic and the next slide then. Uh, yeah, I'll turn things over to you, David. I made some slight tweaks from the slides uh, from three weeks ago, but uh, hopefully that reflects what's what's happened in the past few weeks, but I'll, I'll let you lead a discussion. Thanks, Ray. Um, yeah, thanks for the, for the updates. Um, essentially, it's a continuation of the discussion um, last, uh, on, the last, on the last call. Um, there have been some changes, but I haven't, unfortunately, haven't been, been able to spend that much as much time as I wanted to, uh, on it. Um, I think the bulk of the proposal is uh, essentially done. Um, we had discussion on the size um, and uh, tightened, we tightened a bit um, the definition of uh, how often the meeting the, the team would uh, would meet. Um, I think the only thing that's missing in there, unless there are other um, there are other comments from the participants, is um, uh, creating the process for nominating issues uh, and MRs from the wider community. Um, and this is something that uh, I was thinking to keep simple, um, to perhaps create a, a group in the same way that, uh, that, uh, that we have the core team group, and then um, add some documentation around, uh, around the process and, um, and let people being the, the community advisory council um, to to nominate something that's uh, that's for discussion in, uh, in public. Um, so I'll, um, I think what I'll do is I'll add that process, then I'll remove the work in progress on the on the merge request, and then um, then look for um, for comments and uh, further approval. And then um, in parallel, um, I'll start reaching out for um, for initial members um, and start asking folks um, who might be interested in joining the. <clears throat> initial incarnation of the of the council. Cool. All right. But yeah. Yeah. Is there I guess one is. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was, yeah. was going to say, uh, if yeah. you've got any comments, then feel free to add them to the to the MR, or, uh, or feel free to reach out to me directly as usual. All right. Any thoughts, comments? This will move to the next topic. Uh, 
Um, so I uh, wanted to talk about some of the community related uh, events uh, that we're, we're planning for in and particularly in Q1. Um, so one is sort of a, uh, I mean, not a, not a, not a, big conference per se, but this is sort of an initiative that uh, we wanted to try out uh, as one of one of my OKRs. Uh, it's what we call hackathon in a box. Uh, I mean, obviously we, uh, the virtual hackathon that we've been having every quarter has been pretty successful. Uh, and wanted to sort of, um, uh, uh, sort of replicate that and so that people are able to sort of, uh, I mean, create a, create an event where, where it's, you know, create a fun environment for people to start contributing, I mean, especially for new contributors, uh, when there are sort of a face-to-face -face events or at meetups. And I mean, Takuya is on the call, like he's been like very good about this and he's already done this in the past in Japan. Um, but I've been talking to some of the heroes and a couple of meetup organizers where they, I mean, have a regular cadence for meetups and then, I mean, creates an environment where people can get together and, and sort of help each other and uh, get, new contributors involved in contributing to GitLab. Um, so there's a link to a relevant epic there. So you'll see, I mean, some of the things, uh, there are uh, mainly like a two things that, that I started working on uh, in, in Q4. Like one is creating some like introductory content. Uh, so you'll see links in the epic. Uh, one is just an overview presentation on here's how you contribute to various areas of GitLab, like including documentation, UX design, uh, translation and, and, and in addition to code. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's a short deck and it's a variation of, of, of a slide deck that I use as a tutorial uh, a couple of hackathons ago. Um, so that's been refreshed. And then the other thing that I started working on with the GDK team is to create a series of videos for, for GDK. Uh, we had a like a GDK introduction video uh, that was done by like David Anton, uh, like probably at the first hackathon. Uh, that was one of the most widely views uh, viewed like a videos on on the hackathon channel. It had like over a thousand views, like when I checked about a month ago, uh, uh, which was good. But you know the GDK is like evolved. Um, uh, pretty significantly over the past uh, few quarters. So um, uh, there should be like a two videos there. Uh, if you if you go to that epic, let me just go there right now so you can see it. Uh, so there's a GDK playlist uh, under the unfiltered channel. Uh, so I, 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 we just recorded this like uh, several hours ago with Tiger Watson. Uh, he's one of the back end engineers, but also maintainer for GDK. Uh, so quick, like a five minute video on how you set up a GDK. Uh, and Tong had a, a somewhat more advanced topic on using GDK for like auto DevOps. Uh, that's probably more uh, relevant for GitLab team members, but I think community members might find this interesting, but we wanna sort of build this library of, of videos. Uh, so there are probably a couple of other topics that I'm gonna tap a uh, few you know, like Git, GitLab engineers on. It's, do a quick like a video, like a five to 10 minute video session. So it's easy to like consume. Uh, so, I mean, those are sort of the two things content wise that, that we started working on. Um, and the other thing that we also want to offer and, and Takuya can chime in here because uh, he's got a meetup yeah. scheduled on the 16th, like Monday next week. And so he's going to pilot, uh, hopefully pilot some of this content. And then I also sent them like, uh, some GitLab merchandise that it can give out. Like, I mean, for example, if someone submits an MR, like you, you sort of get a, uh, prize on the spot. Uh, so, so, uh, so fun prizes that you can use at like a face-to-face -face meetups where people contribute and, and they get rewarded immediately. Um, so uh, want to try that out at, at a couple of different venues um, uh, over the next few months and and uh, put together sort of a, a hackathon in a in a box material that that various event organizers can use. Um, so, uh, I mean, Takuya has got an event next, next week and then he's got another one in January, but if there are other like uh, meetups that you're typically involved in, like locally in, in your countries, I mean, please let me know. I, I definitely would like to, uh, see, uh, uh, if we can put something together for, for your event. 
Uh, we also tried to do this for Write the Docs in Australia, but it was like a too short of a notice. Um, like a, a lot of the sponsorship and all that sort of came together, so we couldn't like organize something like uh, uh, on site in, in Sydney uh, almost about a month ago. Um, but if there are other events that that we should probably like experiment this uh, this at, I mean, please let me know. Um, uh, so it, let me just leave it at that. And I mean, David, I don't know if you have anything to add here or anything I may have missed. Um, well, uh, I mean, one thing is good. Uh, I wanted to say um, good work with the last uh, video uh, with JTK setup. I think uh, it's great to have uh, um, something like that that's under uh, 15 minutes, well, 10 minutes. Um, as you say, I think that's uh, much easier than uh, for people to consume uh, than the, the longer ones. But still, we have the longer ones if people want to delve more into into right. detail. Um, I have one question on the playlist um, itself. Uh, is there any reason why the initial um, GDK um, uh, tutorial from Tun was uh, was not added in there? Is it because it's outdated? No, I mean yeah, we can certainly add it in here. I mean, there's no, there's no reason why it, it, it can't be in there. Uh, I mean, I can certainly like add it. I assume there's no issue of doing this because um, this GDK channel existed in the unfiltered uh, account, uh, whereas the other recording was under the under the regular GitLab account. Right. But I assume that's I assume that's not an issue. I haven't tried it yet, but that's a good point. Let me see if I can at least add a link there, and see if it works. But um, yeah. yeah, I mean, one thing we can do is like, you know, try to download a video and move it to, to the unfiltered channel, worst comes to worst, but. <clears throat> okay, cool. Any other thoughts or suggestions? Uh, do you think uh, the kind of the contrib contribute uh, in Hakka in the book? Uh, I'm sorry, Takuya, can you repeat that, please? Like, uh, do, do you expect some kind of contributors uh, in, in this uh, Hakka song? In, uh, in, you mean like uh, contributors to attend like these events or? Like, yeah, uh, uh, we can see many kind, uh, many kind of contribution, like uh, uh, having uh, having a talks or organizing organized meetups. Right. Uh, but uh, mm, but I think uh, hackathon in the box can help us have a code contribution. Right. Uh, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, I think it, it, I mean, having talked to a few of the event, like a meetup organizers, I, uh, you know, cause it'll depend on sort of the type of the meetup that you're running. Uh, so this sort of the hackathon activity that's targeted more towards, you know, code contributors should be, I mean, it, it'll be like one of the agenda topics in a in a longer meetup, right? I mean, some of the meetups, uh, from all, what I heard from some of the organizers, they they sometimes run like a three to four hours, and it's possible that during the three to four hours, you'll you'll carve out some time, like an hour, to to just have a workshop working with the contributors, and and then you can have other talks and discussions, uh, for example, on DevOps or other aspects of GitLab, and. Uh, or, I mean, it's possible that somebody might, might want to just run an event that's just focused just on like code contributors. Um, so I think like both of those options work. Um, I mean, it's it, whatever works for you locally, I mean, at your, at your event in, in Japan, uh, you know, if you want to just have like a single topic focused on like uh, working with recruiting or training new contributors, I mean, I think that's fine. Uh, but I think it's, if it, it I think it's also okay, like to if you have like a decent amount of time allocated for the meetup to have this as just one of the topics that that you'll have at the meetup. But I think it's up to the organizers. But um, does that answer your question, Takuya? Or like, oh yeah, I yeah. okay, cool, thanks. 
Ray, perhaps another yeah. comment. Uh, we haven't discussed this, but now that I'm seeing this uh, on the same page, um, it might be worth perhaps thinking whether um, this is something that we might want to do at, uh, at some of these events, either for them or, or scale or both. Um, having um, um, We've talked about having contributor, uh, contributor workshops or getting started to contribute, but perhaps um, we could also have a try at running a hackathon there uh, with some prizes, um, like, um, yeah, yeah. That, um, that, that we could do live. Right. I mean, FOSM might be a little difficult because it's a little bit more chaotic, and then like we're not going right. to have a, like a dedicated GitLab session. Uh, but I mean, for for scale, I, I think that's definitely you know more under our control. Like if we you know we'll talk about this in a minute. If we're going to have a track that we're going to like us like organize on our on our own, it's completely appropriate to have like a, a carve out some time to to um, uh, to run a workshop for contributors, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely an option for something like Scale or or some of the other events that we might be like a GitLab might be sponsoring, um, like down the road. Uh, I mean, I didn't list it here because the events uh, I believe in Q2, like in May. Uh, I believe GitLab is going to be like a going to have a bigger presence at like a Write the Docs in the U.S. Uh, so there, are, I mean, I've been talking to the technical writing team about uh, running a workshop on uh, focus on docs contributors. Um, so opportunistically, I think we can, yeah, you know, we can definitely do do uh, uh, do uh, do something not just at meetups, but events like scale and and like write the docs. Cool. All right, so we'll move on to the other events that are on the slide. So FOSDAM that's coming up, that's usually uh, the first weekend of February. So I believe this time it's like a February 1st and 2nd, and there's a relevant issue that you can take a look at uh, where a number of discussions already uh, been happening uh, around FOSDAM. Um, and then if you want to join a Slack channel, and like in Slack, there's a pound FOSDAM channel if you want to if you want to join discussions there, uh, it'll probably get more active like after the holidays uh, as we get closer to the event. Uh, so we'll again have a stand uh, during the entire conference. Um, when I actually submitted the CFP, I only I actually requested Saturday only, uh, but the feedback I got from the organizers that it, it, GitLab is a big open source project, so we should be there for the entire conference. So we'll have a stand for both Saturday and Sunday. Um, and there are also a lot of dev rooms that happen uh, at FOSAM and a number of GitLab team members and myself included have submitted talks for various dev rooms. Uh, I mean, John Coughlin and I submitted um, proposals for the community dev room, but I know there have been um, uh, a CFP submitted for like a Golang uh, dev room. Uh, and I believe uh, Ben Kochi is also uh, one of the organizers for, for one of the dev rooms, I believe it's like monitoring. I, I forget the exact term for it. So uh, you probably see a lot of GitLab team members there uh, in general. Uh, so if you uh, are planning to um, like come to the event in, in February, just, I mean, please let me know. Uh, we'll probably have a decent, uh, decent presence there anyways. Um, and uh, I believe the dev room schedules will start to get announced like starting like this week or next week. So you'll see uh, which talks have been accepted. Um, so that's uh, just a quick info on FOSAM. Um, and yeah, and for, for um, I, I think most people here probably know FOSAM always happens at the same like a university campus in, uh, in Brussels. Uh, so that won't change, uh, change there. Uh, the other event uh, that that might be new to a lot of the people, uh, it's called Scale. Uh, it's Southern California Linux Expo. I think that's what Scale stands for. And and David has more experience with this event than I do. I mean, it, this year was the first time I attended uh, at least part of the Scale event, and it's very similar in 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 type of people. Uh, that attend like FOSDAM, uh, a lot of like open source uh, enthusiasts, um, uh, people that are passionate about uh, open source in, like in general uh, attend that event as well. And the scale is already, I mean, as, as you can imagine from the name, 
it's um, it's it's always held in like the in the Los, An Los Angeles area in the March time frame. Uh, so there's also a relevant issue there. And um, as you can see in the second bullet, uh, David and I, David and I have been talking to the organizers about um, sponsoring a half day track uh, focused on GitLab, uh, both on the community and and our product side of things. And I think this is where we can sort of have a session uh, 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 focus on like attracting new contributors, uh, sort of run a workshop. Uh, I don't believe Ben's on the call yet, but uh, we do have like a few community members that are in the Los Angeles area. Uh, if they can sort of uh, participate and help out in, in sort of running that workshop, I think it will be pretty, pretty effective. Um, so, um, and, also, uh, the scale event this year, it, it, uh, it, it sort of, uh, in the same week, the Git merge event also happens in, in the Los Angeles area. Uh, so it sort of dovetails, like, nice, like a Git merge event dovetails nice, nicely into to scale. And uh, um, uh, we, I mean, last year what happened with Git merges is that it happened right before FOSAM. So it's interesting, like this year, they decided to do it in LA uh, right before scale. Um, so uh, one event sort of leads to another. Um, um, so that's sort of, uh, I mean, the two events that I just wanted to give you a heads up on. I mean, if you're like, if you're planning or interested in participating in or attending any of these events, I mean, please let me know. Um, and I feel like I may have forgotten something either about on FOSM or scale. Like, I mean, data, David, did I miss anything on either one of these or? No, I'm just trying to think, um, yeah. I can't think of any, uh, yeah. of anything else. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd say, um, if anyone has good, uh, feedback on, the, on either, either of them, things that we could do or things that we could do differently, then, uh, then feel free to, to comment, to comment on those, uh, on those issues. Right. Yeah. And then I think, uh, David, you and I are both planning on attending both FOSM and scale. Um, yeah. so. Uh, just a just an FYI. Cool. I think that's the end of the slides. Um, just wanted to see if people have any other topics that people want to discuss or anything I may have missed. Everybody's really quiet today. Uh, Ray, Ray yeah. re regarding the community events, because I think yeah. it's uh, worth bringing this up uh, a few months earlier to the quarter meeting so that uh, we can uh, uh, plan any calls, uh, proposals we can uh, submit or something, because the CFPs yeah. are closed for all of these events at the moment. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think for, especially for both FOSM and scale, I probably mm -hmm. should have given people a heads up about, like, especially for the CFP a few months ago. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, I mean, on scale, uh, since we can sort of schedule our own track, uh, I mean, if there's something, uh, George, that you're interested in maybe talking about, I mean, let me know. Uh, and then we can definitely uh see what 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 we can do there because I mean, that's sort of we have the time in the room and we can mm -hmm. uh i mean within reason we can sort of schedule it the way we want that that, that half day to go uh so let me know but, but yeah okay. next time what mm -hmm. it probably is probably worth uh talking about both of these events um like right after people come back from the summer holidays because uh, i think that's when like a typically falls him starts uh, communicating about the, the dev rooms and, and proposals. That's a good point. Yeah, and, and I think I talked to David about this on, especially on scale, if this half day track goes well, I mean, who knows? Like we might decide to expand this to a full day next year. Um, like we weren't quite sure if it could, we'll have a full day worth of content, like just on, because uh, since this is sort of the first time we're trying this, 
Uh, I mean, there are other communities like OpenSUSE and, and Ubuntu. I mean, they've been at, had presence at scale for a long time, so they typically have like a full day event. Uh, but we'll we'll see how the first one goes this uh, this time around, and then if it's successful, we I mean, there's no reason why we can't expand it um, to next year and extend it to full day next year. Any other topics or questions? All right, I guess that's a wrap. I mean, this is, like I said, it's the last call of the year. Uh, so I, I assume a lot of folks will take be taking some time off for the holidays. So uh, do, enjoy, uh, do enjoy the holidays and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you and talking to you all in the new, in, in the new year. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. All right. Thanks, Ray. All right. Thanks, have, a, have a good day. I'll I'll see you guys later. Cheers. Bye. Bye.